Well, I'm gonna share something here this morning that's going on. Um, the way that it started was I was in Honolulu. I was standing in the parking lot at the Alawai Harbor next to Hilton Hotel. And I just need to think here and remember every little detail. I got a text, I was headed, I had my bag and I was standing beside the road waiting for a ride from Stephen Dido um, to get to the airport to fly to the mainland, to California. And I had made the boat really nice. There was lights, colored lights on and I left it open and I thought I'm gonna leave this open, maybe I can help somebody. And I get a message from a man who had escaped Ukraine because um, when the war started, obviously because of the war. And <coughs> I had, um, I think earlier I had gone to Magic Island to a meetup or a get together with Ukrainians. They were all crying and they were talking in their language and someone was interpreting some of it. And uh, this was just at the beginning of the war. I mean, this is just the first week and it was very uh, difficult for, the Ukrainian people and I felt bad for them so this this text came in and it was a man saying he needed a place to stay he was from the Ukraine so I said okay I'm getting ready to leave to the mainland meet me in the parking lots if you can within a few minutes I told him I was leaving he was there he said he was in Waikiki so he was there within 10 minutes and I was still there and he was, he didn't look like he was from Ukraine. He looked like he was from Africa, actually. But he was really, really polite and really nice. And I just said, you know what? The boat's at this dock, at this number, just go there and, and have a wonderful night. Well, he, and I didn't charge him, of course, and he put online some remarks. I've never seen him, but someone read them. And it was uh, J-Lo's driver, Jennifer Lopez's, uh, chauffeur limo driver he saw those remarks and he wanted to come over and meet me so he came over left um malibu or hollywood area there at the beach left his beach house came over and now he wants to do he wants to be my business partner i've met with him a couple times since he spent time on the boat with me and we had a great time but that's what started this hospitality mission. Then I was at the laundry and I saw a couple there and I just struck up a conversation with them and with the man. And he explained how he was robbed. They rented a car, their car was stolen. All their things were stolen, even their ID, pass, you know, driver's license, passports, whatever they had for identification, uh, money. They ended up in their bathing suit with no car and nothing. And of course the police got him involved with an Aloha organization that helps people in these sorts of situations. And by the way, I had um, oral surgery. That's why I have this, this white in my mouth. I'm, I noticed it here on the camera, sorry. And I'm in Seattle, Washington right now. Um, I don't know if you know Tim Reisenberger, but I'm at his place and we're doing some mission stuff together. We have eight Ukrainians here that we're helping right now. He is uh, helping these people and I'm helping with the yard sale. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, this mission started because of one Ukrainian man in the parking lot and his comments and it escalated. And now there's uh, three people who speak French from France and um, they read about my comments and I mean, what do you call them? The reviews? Yeah, comments and reviews or something like that about, now I'm just being, I wouldn't say I'm being myself. I'm trying to be like Christ. I'm trying to show God's love, which he showed us through his son, Jesus. And it becomes part of my nature to be hospitable. And there's other people like my Auntie Mickey on the island who's that way as well. But uh, there's few people, and Stephen Dido, and there, there's a few who are there. And Steffi is now working with us. Um, I These people come in tonight at 8 o'clock. If I were there, I would give them some flowers, give them a lay, you know, have a bottle of water for them, um, and maybe a candy bar, so, you know, a, a nice, nice bar. And, like, 
healthy, healthy bar, nutritional bar, or granola bar, or whatever, Costco. I, I have these in the boat. I got about 500 of them. I just grab them and just make sure they have their food, make sure their blood sugar's up, make sure they have water and uh, flour and kiss them on the cheek and hug them and just make sure they know they're loved and the first impression is very, very critical. And for me, this isn't about business. No, I'm not gonna take their money. This is about soul winning. This is about friendship ministry, Christ method alone. And then eventually, hopefully, I can be an influencer in the life for, for good, for in some way that they um, will want to know God more and they will reach out um, through studying his word, things like that. Anyway, um, I'm going to send this video if, if anyone there who I've mentioned has a burden for this mission and for this work and you want to be a part of greeting these three beautiful people who God has sent and put in our path, I sure would like to encourage you. Now, there's not one person on that island of Oahu of over a million people that has the, um, I'm trying to say this right, they have the desire, but they don't have the ability, they don't have the, um, there's too much controversy over providing a place. There's a couple people that help with camping and I really appreciate Mark and um, you know, some of my friends can't because they got multiple family and they we, the family don't agree. It's a very costly place to live. I mean, homes are millions of dollars. So um, thank you so much for watching. God bless you guys. I just had to get this message out because that's what's going on in Honolulu and I wanna keep that hospitality love mission going so we can continue to witness to people God's love and, um, you know, connect them to their creator. So these people don't believe in God, but this is the seed that's planted that grows. And eventually they, be, they come to know him personally, like I do, and have conversations and interaction. And God is the author and the finisher of my life. He's the one who brought me here. I was turning right to Idaho, but I got a text and uh, God led me here to Washington. So it's quite a beautiful journey to be um, following God's will rather than your own and living for him. Uh, he provides for our needs. So um, I think that's all. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye. If you haven't watched the Ukrainians uh, last night sing, please go back on my YouTube channel and watch that video of these two sisters singing and her sharing her testimony. She's right here in this house now. But please, um, this was yesterday, Sabbath, at this church. I don't know which one, but I was there and uh, filmed it. And it was a beautiful testimony, and they sang a duet. It was very, very special. Please go back and watch it.